Right. This um, video is from the live stream I did. So just want to say the audio was tripping and everything. So you you're gonna see me saying like um it shows it's recording stuff like that. So just be on the lookout for that. But on this video you will hear it on the live stream. You cannot. So hopefully you enjoy the video. Hogs on the mind, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty. Good Black everybody. Good. Okay, so the presser was today. I haven't looked at anything about the presser. I haven't looked at. I've been seeing some people put um put comments and everything about the presser i just got off of coach shout out to coach uh, watching coach video and uh yeah he said something about rashad bateman and i was like oh i don't want to hear no more right now because i don't know what's going on like is rashad hurt again is that is that the news that i'm hearing that he's hurt again? Is he soft? But I don't know. So I'm just gonna listen and check out the presser. So let me fix this camera so you all can watch it. Are you ready? Watch it with me as well. Let's see. Let me get this right. Uh, I think that's it. All right, let me see. And let me know if there's a, um, a echo too. So let me make sure it's not too loud. Let me skip this up ahead. I saw harps. Are you out practice? Okay, let's see. What are you talking season? about? Talk to our guys about uh, a lot of preparation has gone into this point. We put a lot of work in already. But this becomes our official okay. beginning hey, that, that, uh, going forward for the 2023 the season, and everybody's very excited to get started. Also, congratulations to the, uh, the Denver Nuggets basketball fans. Yeah. Oh, we talking about the Nuggets. Uh, awesome team, uh, great team effort. Won it playing defense, interestingly enough. And then to the Miami Heat, I love those guys. Love Coach Bolster and uh, and what they accomplished this year. I was kind of pulling for those guys to be honest with you. Just love their grit. So, basketball, you know. Now we got baseball to look at too, right? No, the O's. So they're rolling too. So, what questions you have? Really John, with uh, Odell being here, what do you kind of expect as far as uh, his level of participation in practice? Right. Uh, well, you know, he's going to be full go in terms of health and all that, but I also expect us to ramp up a lot of our guys. You know, we're going to see where guys are at. We're not going to be in a hurry to throw guys out there too much, too many reps. Uh, we want to get a feel for everything. He's learning the offense for the first time, just like a, a lot of guys have been. So, I think it will be a, a kind of a see as we go, go through individual, take a few reps in group and team, and, and see how he and the other guys feel, and we'll go from there. No, we saw going OTAs that Bateman was doing individual and working on the side. Are you expecting him to be a part of more? Team? Not expecting Bate to be a part of it right now. He uh, he had a, a a shot, you know, for healing purposes, cortisone type deal. So that'll keep him out for a couple of days. So oh we just decided goodness. to just let him keep rehabbing. And uh, make sure he's he's ready to go for training camp. Hey, coach, with J.K. Dobbins being here, how do you see the potential of bringing that? That's the news that people was talking about with Bait. He doing individually. He got a shot to I guess heal up his leg, make the healing healing faster. Is that what it is? I ain't never heard of anything like that before. That is completely. That's completely new to me. So how long he's gonna, how long he's gonna be out? Is it that soft tissue that Harbs always speaks about? I don't get it. The best out of him under Scott Monkey's offense. Yeah, I, that's a great point. I think that is something that uh, J.K. is excited about. Todd's excited about. We all are. It's gonna be interesting how he fits in because J.K.'s got a lot of dynamic ability. You know. Backfield motion, wide plays, inside plays, even the A-gap plays that we've always run. As a receiver out of the backfield, I think he's got a lot of potential. So I'm very excited well, about J.K. and how he's going to fit in here. 
just back to Odell for a second. With the heights he kind of reached there to receive in this league and, and him coming back after, you know, two, almost two years off, does that, does that add juice to your, your room? Does that add juice to going on the field today? Well, I mean, you love great players and great people and guys who love football. You know, and the one thing I've seen about Odell, like all of our guys, is he loves football. And the other thing that we like is guys who want to be here. Just and he's very him. excited to be here. He wants to be here. So that combination is good. You know, any, any football I'm coach loves for. that. Odell. But he's, he's a highly decorated player without question. Has been in all the big battles, you know, over the years. Uh, he's, he's worked really hard to get himself back to this point. Where he's, you know, he's excited to go, and he's—I'm sure he's a little anxious and, you know, anticipating getting back on the field for the first time. So, you know, we're not going to go crazy out here, but I think it's a good first step for him. And of course, we're excited that he's here. We're excited that all of our guys are here. John, did your entire roster report to camp? Yes. Okay, okay. What are your expectations for him, considering you didn't have him very long last year? Right, exactly. Michael Pierce has looked he's great. Fine. He's been here every day. He's worked extremely hard, moving very well. I think he's very determined. You know, I mean, Michael was on a trajectory and then all of a sudden had a couple of injuries that sidetracked him the last few years. So I think he's very determined to kind of get hey, back on track that way. And I uh, Let me see. Let me see what's going on. The presser audio. Okay, okay. What? That's weird. Cause it's going through this. I, I wonder if his um stream yard is blocking it somehow. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Let me check something. Let me check something. It says it's working. Yeah, it says it's working. So you can't hear his audio. I got it. I got it up. On the um Let me go here. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. I have high expectations for him. What about Manabike? Coach, we're going to be talking to him later. What are you doing for him? Yeah, I expect him to take off, you know, even to, and just really, and I say take off, but kind of continue on the same track. I want to see. Can you let uh, me take the next step as a alone. player? I think he's going to have a great year. John, I know it may not be too competition mode just yet, but with the wide receiver room, it looks like this may be probably the most competitive group you've had in camp in a while. Are you excited just about the competition within that position group? Yeah, I was looking at a picture. Uh, actually, it was in our my basement, you know, above. I got this pool table. It's one of those old, like, um, pool room pool tables, you know, where you got to put the coin in it. Except now you don't have to put the coin in it, right? But you still got to push the button. And above that is a picture of it's Jacoby, Tory, Steve. Okay, okay. I'm a, I got to mess with it. That is weird. I know if I had it on. Right okay, now. okay. I'm a, I got to mess with I it. That is weird. I know if I weird. had it on there. Let me see. Let me I know see if something. I had it on. Let me try right one more thing because I think it's the stream yard just blocking it. I know if it. I had it on there. Let me see. Let me see. Let me try one more thing because I think it's the stream yard just blocking it. Let me see. I did just volume. That's just the stream you are blocking it. That's just the stream you are blocking it. Yeah, that's the stream you are blocking it. Yeah, and it won't the sound you are blocking it. What's this? It won't sound through. It won't sound through. What's this? Ah, oh, the OBS. Oh, That's the sucky Bro. part. Ah, oh, the OBS.
Moose was good. Oh, that sucks that it's not working. Yeah, that sucks it's not working because I know if I just go straight through OBS, it'll make the it'll make the stream go slow though. Oh, let me pop you up there, Moose. What's good? But that's weird that you Steve Smith are in there and we're like doing something to practice, you know. I thought that was a good group, right? This group rivals that group, you know, and it might be the best. We'll see. I mean that's up to that's up to them to determine that, but I'm very excited. Yeah, that is weird that you can't hear that. That's weird that you can't hear it. So let me flip it. Yeah, that is weird that you can't hear that. About those guys. John, there have been a, a lot of stories over the last few months about guys around the league being investigated for gambling. Just, just curious, what do you guys do to make sure that your players know what they can do and what they can't do? And does it worry you ever that, that maybe there are a few confusing points in there that, that it's hard for guys to... to Look at the presser. Let me turn this down. Let me turn this down. Okay, there we go. I'm still I'm watching it right now. To know exactly. It does concern you that, you know, it's not always too clear. I mean, the clearest thing would be just stay away from it, but you know, guys are going to be on vacation and they they may they may they play blackjack. So, I see. And so Madam, you know, dang, Madam Dookie, you look big in the mud. Is, 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 is it a little different? Not that like dude been lifting. Uh, in, in the room now? Yeah, a little bit. He's real loud, you know what I'm saying? He's an old vet, but, you know. He look he, like his he head shrunk and his body got bigger. And uh, <laughs> I definitely want to pass that forward and just, you know, definitely be a, a, a Good a Lord. Example. Put a pause on that, by the way. Say something, I'll say something. And, um, but, you know, man. Every day because we have ultimate goal in mind. All right, so let's do it make this quick. I'm really just here for Harves and Harbaugh. I want to sit here, what? First impressions. I said Harbs and Harbaugh. Duh, they same person. Yeah, yeah. OBJ. Not really the first, but, you know, just happy to be back in the building. Um, been away from the game for a little bit of time, so uh, it just feels good to finally be back. That's weird that y'all can't hear it, though. Get things going. So my apologies on that. Too? I mean, you've had a lot of practices in your career. Sure. Uh, will this practice be any different just because it's been a while since – yeah, the, the Super Bowl. That is weird that y'all can't hear it. Um, I don't necessarily know. Because the think, mic is picking it um, up. Just coming here with the mindset, you know, we're all professionals in this. Um, and just get back to having fun, you know. Uh, learn the playbook, you know, it's a lot. There's still a lot of, you know, things to do. So I oh, think they're looking like he's just, just chilling right now with his know, practice. Have fun, you know, stay locked in, be a pro. Adele, can you can you even develop some kind of chemistry this week uh, doing what you're doing? I mean, what what are your goals in this mini camp? What do you want to get accomplished? Uh, I mean, you know, chemistry is it's going to develop over time. I think uh, I know I'll be down in Florida training with them. So oh, that's we we'll have plenty of time. It's not something that you know I'm worried about. Well, you know, the most important thing is Florida getting ready for Lamar a season training. coming up in September, and that's when we play. Uh, I think just being here, being around the guys, you know, being around your, your brothers, uh, just getting to know people, and you know, like I said, just be a pro. You guys already said you guys already got him in uh, Florida, you mean Lamar, right? Yeah. Training with it, yeah. So oh, my God, that was stupid. He said yeah. down there in Florida, you mean Lamar. What else he going to go to Florida for? Season. We're supposed to catch some time in AZ, catch some time in Miami, but it's something that, you know, it's not really uh, a thing. Oh my goodness, that was a dumb, that was a dumb question. I mean, I don't know. I don't have like a set play amount or a number that's in Malone, my head. Malone, you in traffic. Just, Are you coming out for work, here, Malone? Be a pro, you get your reps, get your work, you talk. Um, you know, you don't have to always build chemistry, so to say, by you know, taking reps. It could be, you know, communication thing. How do you see it? Blah, blah. And then, like I said, we have a whole he made. Off season communication uh, or after this camp breaks to, to really can be key to going for chemistry. So you, um, you posted a real positive instead of just about running your progress, over and over. like last month from your foot or excuse me, your knee. I'm sorry, yeah. where I know you're focusing towards week one, but where are you right now? Do you feel like to that elusive 100%? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I've, I've been asked this question all my career and I've never given a percent or number because then it, you know, you say you're 100 and then it just is not really a good. Um, 
Good answer. Question set Good up answer, for me. So I'm just I'm where I'm at right now. Uh, I'm in the still in my process and. Um, just trying to gear up and get ready for week one. It's safe to say that you feel good about where you yeah. are. Yeah, I feel good. It's, it feels good to be able to get out of bed and not feel, um, you know, pain. It feels good to feel like if I need to take off running right now, I could take yeah. off running. You know, it, it um, it's been a, a long journey well, this time, this time team, around. So I can make um, sure you and it was its own process. So I just had to take that for what the it was. Well, then what's your familiarity with this um, offense? I know you've had a history with Tom Malkin. Is it a lot of similarities from the last time you were with him? Yeah, I mean, I was, it was a while ago, but so it's I'll, all the I'll same. Like football is all familiar. different verbiage and language. So it's a foreign language. You just, you know, readjusting the different words. but. You know, conceptually, there's a lot of things I'll where make sure it you might have been called here. here over there. And it's called the this over here. So, the um, on the video. just you know, familiarizing myself mm -hmm. with the the offense, the playbook, mm -hmm. everything. Like I said, the most important well, thing for me was just getting back to being healthy, um, and the rest will always take care of itself. Putting on a jersey, get on the field today. Like, is that emotional? Is that meaningful? I think it is. I think um, I've been trying to, you know, not think about it. Uh, so much because there's been so many disappointments and I just I've been in a good mental mental headspace to where I've tried to downplay um, this but I definitely think that I'll be excited to be able to put a jersey on and you know go out and, and do the thing that you've done your whole life and uh, what you love to do so I'm excited about that. Dang there was a lot of questions like, at one time. You, you know when you're doing all your uh, you know your routes and all that other stuff, and you're thinking about your speed, where do you think you are now at this point compared and where you were, what you were trying to build to compared to when you were in Arizona doing that workout for all those teams? Um, I mean, I'm definitely better. I got more time. You know, it, it was feels like that was so long ago, and I don't know um, exactly how far it was, but I feel good. Uh, like I said, I don't have a number or a percentage or, um, again, it's never really a, a good answer for that because it just feels like a setup. but. Uh, I feel good, feel healthy. Speed-wise, I mean. Oh, I'm definitely fast. <laughs> Adele, everything you're describing of getting acclimated here, you sound like you have a great deal of patience for this process. How hard was that to kind of mentally build that patience given the last game we saw you and you were at the, the sport's highest level? Uh, it just was, it's a process. You know, it's hard when you, you get to the pinnacle of, you know, the success in this sport and um, you feel like it was taken away from you. It wasn't something that was easy to live with. It was very hard to to go through that and then you know, have surgery and your son be born four days after and just, you know, so many mixed emotions uh, uh, that I've had to deal with over the years. But it kind of all gets put to rest, you know, now because it's like you're here. I think everybody uh, just, just really excited just ready for the season. opportunity and just trying to – Again, keep gearing up to to when it's important. That's which is, what I'm like reading everybody you know, coming here at the end of July ready for the camp, season, get in and getting ready for the season. That's when it really matters. Not to say that anything else doesn't, but at the end of the day, you know, we could write all the stories in the world, but it, it all comes down to what you do on the field during the season. How do you look back on the Super Bowl? I mean, obviously you have the championship ring forever, but you know, just the setback you're describing. How do you look back? On that? It sucks. You know, there's no way around it. It's literally, you know, you've dreamed of. You know, I've watched plenty of Super Bowls, uh, and finally it was, you know, my opportunity, and I was so locked in. I remember my mom and my people were like, "I've never seen you, you know, like that before a game." And I was just, I could just feel it that day when I woke up. Yeah, he killed the I, knew that I was probably going to be the best person on the field. I had been feeling it all week, um, and it just sucks. You know, I didn't get to live out that moment. It's not for the uh, Instagram posts or nothing like that. Like this is really something I've dedicated my entire life to this game and this sport. And um, just wanted to have that moment, but uh, I told my, I think it was my pops, I said, you know, God had already came to me and said, if I win the next time, so hopefully this year, you get an opportunity. Um, he said, I know the champagne was bitter, but we'll make sure that it's probably the best juice you ever tasted. Oh, that's probably, hopefully it is in my mind, that's just how I keep the perspective is that hopefully I'll get another opportunity to do that. Um, and you know, life happens to you, so you just gotta keep, rolling with the flow of it, and we live and we learn. Yeah, talk about, about speed. How that. excited are you being part of someone like Lamar Jackson? Uh, I mean, it's you know, one of the reasons why I signed him. Uh, you know, I've watched him for years. I watched him when he was at Louisville. Um, so I don't know who's faster. You know, I don't know that the answer to that question, but he's definitely, we all know, one of the most electrifying players um, 
that we've seen at that position. Uh, and, you know, one of my favorite players growing up, I'm sure he always used to get the comparison, was Mike Vick. And um, he just he just has that um, he has that it to him. And I think um, I remember being in New York with Saquon Barkley and seeing another guy put on cleats, and you just know, like, they're special people. So I got to make sure oh, I, I stay on my blocks and not get busy, you know, watching him when he's doing his thing sometimes. You know, you all, we all want to see it. But I, like I said, I'm excited about that opportunity. I think that was um, – a lot of the reason why I signed. Odell, Odell. You, Lamar said that in this offense that he feels he's going to be throwing more than running than ever before. As a passer, what what impressed you about Lamar, and, and what do you think as far as his, his ceiling, as far as just throwing the ball? Um, I mean, again, that's you know perception versus reality. I always perception talk to you about that. Perception versus reality. Um, he's, he plays quarterback. You know, he's been throwing the ball all his life. Uh, and to Can watch him, get that six you know, thousand? catch a few passes from him earlier today. He's got a strong Can he get that five thousand. I mean, it gets up on you fast, so um, I'm just excited about that. I know he wants to throw the ball. You know, um, I'll tell you this: I'll I'll take ten passes over ten runs all the time. So I'm all for it. You know, if we're if we're gonna air it out, that's that's fine with me. But uh, it's definitely about winning games. Um, so whatever that takes. You know, I've been from passing to always running the ball. I've been uh, I've been in the mix of both. Uh, also went to LSU, nothing, nothing against them. We we ran the ball a lot, so um, I played a lot of football. I know, you know, the, the balance of both. Run the, I mean, run the ball a lot. I still a lot about uh, the wide receiver talent level this season. I don't throw uh, that wide receivers. I wouldn't be running the ball really. Over their history, does that mean anything to you? What does it mean to you? I think I've just been, you know. Guys come up to you and it's like, oh, I remember mm -hmm. watching you in middle school. And it's like, you know, you start to, they start to give you that, make you feel old kind of thing. And I just, I think I know what my role will be as far as, um, you know, coming out and, and being able to show it every day and being able to feed and also oh, man. feel like a good leader okay. has to be a good follower. So it's just being able to be minutes. there for these guys, you know, questions that you need. Shit, I might have questions myself. So just, you know, we're all here to learn. Um, and I'm excited about that room. Wow, There's okay, a lot of talent easy. in that room. Uh, Rammy was it's good. Be a lot man. of competition for spots. So the 5K is easily in, you know, the we just gotta, in we his reach. All work, work if they stay and, healthy, uh, if they stay it, healthy, it, I'm with it. It's definitely got a good feel in there. Yeah, I'm I'm with wearing it. the Orioles hat. We all stay healthy. I'm guys. with it. It seems like you're kind of embracing the city. But yeah, how excited are you to be part of this community? Um, you know, it's just I've heard a lot of great things about it. You know, Jamil McLean and I played together for you know the last year he played in the Giants, and he just was telling me he's like, you'll love it. Uh, you'll love the city. Um, Probably don't get me in trouble now, but I'm not to say that I'm Orioles fan. You know, I got a team my own, but I'm excited. Want to go to, want to go to a game and, and just check it out. Check out the atmosphere. It's just um, fully embracing. Exactly. Graven was good, man. my feet are at, and I think that's something that I've learned over this process. Is just being present. Um, I like how you put that every in Cavs fan. Bateman, obviously a younger receiver who's oh, coming back from so, injury. I don't know if y'all um, you have a lot of experience with hurt? that. <laughs> you can't you hear this person. It's going to be on the video and play to, out later. Give him on that, do you feel like? Yeah, I definitely so, do. I, think I know that it's just um, blocking it. It's never easy. They want you but to each injury is, you know, usually different, but it's just about helping each other out with the mentality and um, you know, when you come back from being injured, there's always that little bit of fear that you have to get over. That's you the know, thing. So I you don't want it to happen again or whatever. So with these injuries, we haven't, we haven't real getting over it. You know, talked about it as much. I know in the it's room, gonna be he interesting for mainly for old We chopped it up about it. So I think he's heading in the right direction. I think we're all you see that in here. You get injured um, in the Super you know, Bowl. The season. How do you confront that fear that you just talked about? That now, people. For me, it was the very first time I just remember injury prone. Just see. Let's just see. There's no really way to dive in. You know, there's no way to to go through it except to do it. So it just was, Ain't now I feel like to do after You've been watching having Martin. surgery for the first time, like the second time <laughs> it came around, there really was no fear because it's like, I've already, I've already, I already know what I've been through. Um, so just gotta do it, I guess, you know? But um, it's just Somebody a mentality. Somebody he gave a little shout out at the end of this with D-Hop. What's been your favorite thing about To D-Hop. Every, every moment. Um, just watching, you know, his daily development and uh, speaking more, you know, dad, dad, giving you love. Like, it just, it's crazy to see your little human, you know, see, I had those shot knees. Um, I, hey, Randy, I love every minute, every second same of it. Same here. 
He's here with me now. So my right knee, I messed that up with basketball. My left knee, I messed that up with football. We don't work, but you can't wait to like go see him and be with him and just spend those moments and just really uh, cherish and value that time with him. Odell, I knew you wouldn't be back unless you knew you'd be confident you could be back to the level that you want to play at. Where does that confidence though come from? Because you know, confidence can come from, from your heart, man. That's what I would have said. Aspects. Yeah, I mean, I've been doubted all my life, so that's really, you know, for the other people to do, and that's their own. You know, that's, the, that's what they got going on. That's not what I got going on. Um, but, yeah, the time off just allowed me to grow and learn, you know, because when it first happened, I just wasn't in the best of place. Uh, Man, it happened in the Super Bowl. I don't think, think about nobody being in the right place. Again after I just, you know, did that and got back on the horse, and then it happens at the you know, worst moment. And if you think about it, it was it was the longest season for me ever because we made it to the Super Bowl. I also had started training since last November consistently. So I was training – you know, it it was just a long season. I was at the end. I remember, um, Man, that you know, is. Cooper Cup and I looked at I looked at each other, and I was like, I'm happy this is the last week because I can't do another one. So, um, the doubts is for whoever has them to have them, but that's not what um, enters my mind and my body. It's just something that I've carried myself with all my life. Man, I know what I can do. So I'm just confident. excited about, you know, the that's some positive. It's energy still a process right to get to. Um, August and then getting into to camp, so still got a lot of time. Yeah, like we can do one more, place. It looks like it had a pretty fun offseason going to Monaco and the finals. Yeah. Do, you, do you enjoy, though, getting back to, like you said, yeah. this process of playing football? Yeah, um, I think it's important to live life. You know, once you get here at the end of July, you're here until you know, hopefully mm. February 17th, and you spend every single day with these people, your teammates, your brothers, more than your, your family. Um, and there is no time to go anywhere or do anything. And, you know, when I get to like an NBA Finals game and I'm sitting right there and I'm looking at Jamal Murray's, uh, the intensity he has in his eyes, knowing he has an opportunity to win a ring, or you, you see these guys, like it's, it's always it motivating is. for me. That game was good um, last night, man. It's cool to like enjoy the atmosphere of a game, but I really go to watch like, as an athlete, not like a, a spectator. Man, like, I really get motivated by watching my brother D Book play or watching LeBron play, watching KD, watching these guys who in their respective sport is the same mentality as I am. Um, and they want to be great. So that's always fun. You know, I love being able to get out the country when I can. It was the only trip that I really had. So um, definitely excited about, you know, had had fun with that, but that's more sweet. excited about just it's finally getting close to time to, you know, be able Play to, to line up in a stadium again. And I have to watch it from the TV. That's what I'm talking about. Odell, real quickly, um, I was just wondering, DeAndre Hopkins is also on his free agency tour. I'm yep. curious if you've had any exchanges with him or suggestions. And also, to that end, do you think, um, there is there anything to prove with a uh, wide receiver going over the 30-year mark? 30-year uh, thir mark? In terms of age. Oh. No, I mean, if you could play, you could play. I don't really think age is, you know, more of a mindset. And that might just be me trying to. You know, not get old, but that's just how I feel. It's just really a mindset. Um, and, you know, we, we both were in Arizona, and we were joking way before the draft even happened, you know, about, you know, possibly going here. And um, I don't know what happens from here. You know, that's not, not really my call. I'm not the GM or coach or anything like Come that. On. But uh, get him out. I do know that he was, you know, kind of craving to be able to play football again. You know, he had a shorter season last year as well. Uh, but he just uh, – don't know where he's going to end up, but I'm excited for him, excited to watch him again. Um, and I think he can still ball from, from what I've seen when we were working out. Odell, thank you. Yes, sir. All right. So that uh, – let me switch this camera. So that was what people were talking about with the Odell and the D-Hop. Um, yeah, it was – they asked him a question about it to me. He, he just answered it. But he had the little smirk. That little smirk could mean something, could not mean something. You never know. They always play these games. They always play these games with them little smirks. Is there something we don't know? Rashad, I said Rashad. Rashad Bateman, injury. I don't know. I don't know. Something's, is that like a gateway or a doorway, whatever you want to call it, for for D Hop, but then there's the money. Everybody thinks about the money. How much money he's gonna want? How much money the Ravens have? What are they gonna do? 
is they end up trading someone and opening up some money. Don't know. But on the thing I did like was on the video when they were showing a couple of the highlights of the play, um, the highlights of the um, OTAs and everything in practice. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, right now, I did like I did like that he was like he was right next to Odell was right next to my boy Zay Flowers, so I liked it that he's teaching them and everything. Brandon, what's good, fam? Hope everything is going well for you and your family. But overall. You know, it was it was sweet. To me it was sweet. From the just the little highlights they show, you know, they don't show much. But um it was cool really. It was cool, it was relaxing. It don't made it didn't make me when I say relaxing, it didn't make me worry or anything. Cause even at the podium you can tell he was chill. But everybody's ready for pool ball. The fans, the players coaches we're all like ready for football denver nuggets did their thing ended it i don't care for for baseball but i'm ready for football like i only care for basketball when football is over <laughs> so to be real with you 